Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again tonight. Back in my running KDE system here. I want to cut do a couple of customizations and help you get the live remaster going so that when we do an install, all your desktop changes here will go right into your next system. So first off, we need a few, a few more things um, to install. And you can install whatever applications you want. This is a, a complete but still basic KDE install. Remember, not everything is a KDE application but we do have this their discover software center here I've actually never used discover so I don't really know how to operate it but it does help you uh, it is the uh, the usual client for for installing software uh, on on KDE uh, I'm not sure about the but it's been buggy in the past I'm not sure about the version but you're free to install synaptic it's available uh, I am going to uh, continue to use app because I, it's faster but you feel free to install a graphical package manager you can install synaptic or you can use discover or whatever you want to do but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to install a couple things to make life a little easier for us we're going to install so new apt install we're going to install the annex installer and we're also going to install YAD, which will help us bring some of those um, uh, scripts for remastering um, onto the desktop. We're going to install all this stuff. You'll notice a lot of EFI stuff being installed as well. That's because um, that's part of the MX or the Antics installer uh, brings those packages in, so we can handle the UFI install. Okay, now we're going to do a. I'm going to customize my desktop just a little bit here. Nothing major, just 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 a little. Uh, I've only played with this very briefly. Uh, wallpaper. Let's see. Yeah, we'll pick a different wallpaper. Uh, I don't know, we'll take this one. A little rocket ship there. Uh, okay, and then we also, I believe we can do a, pan, a, a color scheme. Let's see. How do you get to that? Uh, desktop theme, perhaps. really don't know what I'm doing in KDE but you know you get the idea we'll go with breeze dark here oh yeah that's darkened up the panel change things up a little bit okay I'll take that so we got a new wallpaper got a new panel let's do the remaster remaster running live persistence and it should pop up in a GUI dialog since we installed YAD okay we need root password or sudo password, I didn't see which it was. But anyway, you need a password. And I'm going to do a personal remaster. That's going to take the home folder, the demo home folder, and cram it into the Linux, the running, the Linux file system file. Um, so that you don't need all these changes. You don't need the persistence file anymore. You can reclaim that persistence file for other applications. Do I want to save slash home in the remaster? Yes. And now it's going to do its thing. It's checking for room. What it's going to do, it's going to make a copy. Yeah, here we go. So we this, this is a summary of how big it's going to be. It is 305 right now. It's going to be almost 2 gigs if I use this LZ4 compression. That's going to be the fastest booting and the fastest to compress. And I got the drive space, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, LZ compression. I don't need a title. And it's going to do its thing. Now this is going to take a little while, even in VirtualBox. I mean, um, even with using the LZ, LZ4 compression, because I'm in VirtualBox, I'm only, it's only getting one core. It's kind of neutered a little bit. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the remaster is winding up here. And we'll wait for it to say, completely done. And there we go. The new file will be used the next time we boot. Do I want to make a new rootfs file? Yeah, yeah let's go ahead and make one. And I'm going to make a nice big one. I'll make eight this time since KDE is already installed. I probably won't need as much room in the future. Done there. 
and now we can uh, reboot. <coughs> The remaster would take over. You know what? That is a good test. Let's just not bother with the persistence because it should take over just from the remaster. See, there's the switch over to the new, to the new. Uh, that makes it the new default read-only file system. It includes all the stuff we have already just installed. Okay, log in, and there we are. Our KDE system is up and running. This is all totally on live USB, one live USB stick. Uh, you can do this. Uh, like I said I used a 32 gig stick just so I had enough room for the big remaster operation. I used a 12 gigabyte persistence file to do the KDE install. Technically, the math says 8 should work, but I had to use a 12, so I'm not real sure what happened there. But uh, it got through okay. We got our nice KDE desktop, plasma desktop, and it's running live on the Annex Live, U live USB system feel free to customize and to dump any software onto this thing you want. In the last video we're going to do an installation with the Annex installer uh, so we'll see you then. For tips, tricks, how-to's head over to mxlinux.org or annexlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.